Well, welcome to 2022, uh, John Ramshaw, and what a great start um, to the uh, the new year with a fabulous victory over Brackley Town 3-1 and a booking to go along with it. <laughs> uh, let's let's forget the booking, but that was uh, that was a very good start to the new year. I think uh, it was an excellent performance all round. I mean, you can't single any one player out. It was just a totally committed team performance, I think, and. Uh, some of the shifts that people have put in out there today in the mud was absolutely incredible. I thought the goalkeeper did <coughs> especially well considering the conditions. He pulled off some very good saves in difficult circumstances. They're not spectacular saves, but he pulled off some great saves when they, uh, a touch could have been a goal. Yeah, he did. He did very well there, Jackson. You know, he's a, he's a top class keeper, as we know. You know, he's with the Premier League club. Uh, he's here on loan now till the end of the season. We've extended his loan period. Um, and to be fair to him today, I thought he's not only commanded his area very, very well, um, apart from one incident in the first half, he's, he's acted as a sweeper for us um, and he's been very positive about everything he's done. He's come and claimed crosses, he's come and punched when he had to punch and uh, yeah, very good performance again. Another committed <laughs> performance from Harrison Neal, who I believe also has extended his contract here as well. Absolutely incredible today, I thought he was. Absolutely incredible. I love the kid. I love the kid to bits. He's he's everything that football's about. He's he's industry. He's hard work. He's talented. You know the kid's going to go. The kid's going to go at the top. No two ways about it. He's just just on his attitude and his energy alone. He's, he's absolutely outstanding today. The boy was great. You and the gaffer must be delighted with the performance considering the amount of time that we haven't played since that 4 0 will against Leamington. The last time we had a Covid break, we lost to Darlington, didn't we? We did. At home. Yeah. And the difference, I said to Gary Straw, the difference between the side today and the side against Darlington was chalk and cheese. It was from the word go, attack, attack, attack. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, we'd like to say, we'd like to say a thank you to the people at Harbour Town who um, hosted us on Thursday night to allow us to get 90 minutes under our belt, you know, with a ball. <coughs> the playing surface was just a little bit different um, on their 4G to what it was today. Sure, Jordan said um, all that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, uh, we've, we've, we've used this period because we had players who were double vaccinated. Last time we didn't, we had nobody, so um, we, we couldn't do anything. Um, but but this time we you know we had I think ten players who were double vaccinated so provided they um, give a, a negative lateral flow test that could come in and we've used it we've used it well we've used it um, on working on shape with them the best we could but we've also done almost a second pre season the boys have been in and ran and ran and ran and I thought the fitness levels today showed tremendous, they were they? tremendous absolutely tremendous today yeah yeah did you go to the boston game i presume that you did to we see did yeah. yeah so uh you know the, their back four were rather slow weren't they and you, you capitalized on that and you could see that if you could sort of persecute them to a certain extent it was a chance yeah i mean i, I don't know you know i mean i i don't like to call people slow because i know but, <laughs> but, but, but you, you know i just I, I just think when you're dealing when you're dealing with the pace of powell and crawford you know, and Dakari when he comes on, you know, I think I think they make a lot of people look slow, as it were, Paul. But um, you know, we went to the Boston game, and we, although they they were very good against Boston, we saw certain things that we thought we could exploit, um, and and we talked about that. You know, we have a team meeting, as you know, before before every game, and we talked about that in the team meeting and told the players, you know, where we thought their weaknesses were, uh, and I thought that's paid dividends today because the players have responded perfectly to the. Uh, to the tasks they were given and the jobs they were given. No target man, that's the last two games where we won 4-0 and 3-1, we've had no um, Perry, we've had no uh, McDonough due to uh, his injury and um, yeah. it's put a different dimension and a different aspect to our game hasn't it? It's, it's obviously something you're going to look at and keep going forward, do we yeah. need a target man? If well, I, I, it has but I mean we say no target men but the two lads up front have made themselves a nuisance, you know, they've, they've won headers which they shouldn't do, um, you know, we were just talking after the game there. And, and, and saying that sometimes with your big centre backs, they don't like they don't like marking the little lads. You know they've got to come over the top of them, and sometimes they give silly fouls away, um, and it, 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 they're awkward to play against. But I thought the front two did well when the ball was knocked up to them. At times, you know they've held the ball up today and protected the ball well, and of course anything that's in behind defenders with their pace, they're they're, they're a threat. Few players have gone. Uh, Lemin <coughs> Sheriff, um, Luke O'Neill, um, Perry obviously is at dual registration mm -hmm. at. Um, at Nuneaton Borough, um, anybody coming in? Well, I mean, we're always looking, as you know. We've always got uh, we've always got irons. I've before been a politician. <laughs> <laughs> we've always got irons in the fire. I'm not going to name any names. That certain um, 
certain people have been spoken to or certain agents have been spoken to um, yeah I mean Pez has gone to get playing minutes in uh, you know he's a bit short on, on playing minutes as we know and Nuneaton were looking for a, a big target man so we've allowed him to go there in the dual registration um, Luke O'Neill as you know has signed for Stevenage Borough so you know you couldn't stand any you couldn't stand in his way the, the, the lad wanted to get back into full time in the football league and we couldn't stand in his way um, how, how about his injury <coughs> to uh, McDonough uh, we're looking probably about another, maybe it's another week to ten days. I think. Does that go over week. his loan period? Uh, his loan period, I think, ended. His initial loan period ended today, but I think we'll extend. I think we'll extend it, or we'll be looking to extend it once um, w once he's fit again. <clears throat> but we're, we're certainly looking, as I said, a week to ten days before he's he's ready to recommence training. You know. So. Well, John, it's uh, been a, a great afternoon. Um, another yellow card. I won't go into that. <laughs> Living up to your Rocky Ramshaw uh, reputation. Well. But uh, fantastic performance from the, you guys. Uh, great performance from the lads. And well appreciated by the fans. Um, so. We go on against after. Thank you, John, for coming in. No problem. Thank you. Paul. Okay. Thank you. Take care.